Check it out. Do you guys ever get caught in the rain and you find yourself reaching over the handlebar to kind of get the water off of your windshield? Or even worse, wiping it off your face. That's on your windshield, that on your face mask, on your visor. It's annoying and we all get caught in the rain. So I'm trying a new product called Raincoat. It is a paste that goes on the windshield. It goes on nice and thick and it dries. You let it sit for 25 minutes and then you buff it off with a nice clean, dry cotton cloth. So I did it on my full mask as well as my three quarter mask. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's done. It's very easy, it comes in a little tiny little packet. It's a cream. There's plenty enough to do my visor I, for my two helmets. And I also did the inside. There was enough in that one little packet to do that. Plus, I also did the inside of this. And as soon as the 25 minutes goes, I will buff it out and show you how it looks. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. We've got nice and caked on. And let's see how it rubs off. It takes a little bit of a um, little bit of work. It's not gonna come off. You need to really get it rubbed off. Just a nice soft cotton cloth or t-shirt. An old t-shirt, I'm assuming this stuff stands. Just want to make sure it's not abrasive and doesn't take off or scratch the paint at all or the coating that's on my helmet. It's kind of like using Rain-X for your car windows. This is just something that seems a little bit thicker for a, a bike or a helmet. It looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna spray a little bit of Windex on it just to see how it kind of looks when it gets wet. I don't know if it looks anything different, but I'm going to use a dry side and kind of go over it. Um, I won't be able, I'll leave a follow up comment. There's definitely no glare, it doesn't leave any residue. It leaves, it leaves it looking really nice. So I will leave in the comment section what it's like if I get caught in the rain again. I'll leave a comment on how it did in the rain. But as of right now, it looks pretty good. Let's check out the bike and the, the windshield. Now keep in mind I did inside and outside. Comes off almost like a powder would come off. So you're gonna come do a little once over on your bike after it gets done. Again, I can't really speak for the product just yet until I get caught in the rain, but I have a nice two hour, two hour ride this weekend coming up to Key Largo. It's part of the Florida Keys. So I am, I'll take you guys along with me for that ride. And uh, it's cops for kids ride. 
and the money collected goes to uh, I think children of police officers that have fallen um, so I can't think of a, a better cause the windshield is giving me a little tougher time to get off than the visor but It'll be worth it if it actually works during rain and I'm not, I got caught in the rain about two weeks ago. It's not fun. But I will leave a, a follow-up comment when I get caught in the rain. Or maybe I'll just go get a water bottle right now and, and spray it and see how it looks. Okay, so instead of waiting for it to rain, I could not find a spray bottle. I got water. I'm just gonna pour, throw it on there like I'm in a torrential downpour and see how it goes. Ooh, that's nice, look at that. Wow, that is amazing. Look at my bike. Wow. That's amazing. I love it. I could do this all day. <laughs> that works out great. It just takes a little bit of effort to really buff it out so it works well um, to get so it doesn't have that glare on it. But it looks so good. Um, I'm getting a little glare from the overhead light, but I am very, very happy with this. It really just speeds right off. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys.